Hi and hello, welcome back. Jana here with a new process video for the Vicky Boot and Mixed Media Maker. And we got a gift card for the Just Nick store and I grabbed a lot of awesome cut files. And I have uh, done some pre-cutting and I decided to go with these um, scallop background. And I wanted to work um, with rainbows. And so I... Um, yeah, I'm working um, with the watercolors also and I'm grabbing um, the colors from a rainbow and I started with a dark red and orange, yellow, green, blue and a touch of purple. No, not purple, a dark blue. Yeah, you know. And I'm just um, mixing the colors with water on my little uh, mixing plate or the thing I have uh, on my left side and um, yeah I'm just mixing with uh, water and then I'm grabbing a big brush and I'm just painting the um, scallop borders and I will um, I don't know I think I um, I use two or three layers of color and here I'm just giving a touch of water to each of the um, colors and I'm just going over it and then I will go um, back and add some <coughs> splatters and another layer of color. And I really like um, how easy, easy that is <laughs> and how um, it's... Um, yeah, I really, I really um, love how that turned out. It's... I'm not, um, I don't work with a red a lot on my pages and when I first started the rainbow I was like, ooh, that's, it. oh, it's looking, it's, it looks like blood, you know, <laughs> but um, yeah, I will, I will add another layer and uh, when I'm, I will also bring in, or I will also add um, the same colors onto my background paper um, and it's, uh, I love, I really had fun and I really love how that looks, but you know it, I had a second where I was like, oh no. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, I'm splattering, but then I was like, no, come on, there is, I need a second layer. And so I'm going back with the, with the colors and I'm just adding more, but first I'm changing the, um, you know where I painted my the paper underneath my scallop background. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> just adding more colors, and then um, I will. Yeah. Now everything is dry, and then I decided to um, cut the scallops apart so that I can arrange them like I want, and I'm just. Um, here, ta-da, I'm done. And um, this is, um, I really like that version of the scallops um, because I am able to to flip up um, the scallops, you know, and get uh, some movement and dimension onto the page. And it's, um, yeah, very easy to get that when you cut um, the the scallops apart, you know, yeah. So now I need color on my background paper. And I, uh, first I wanted to to use um, the packaging technique, the kissing technique, but that was way too um, smudgy and to the color gets, um, I wanted to have some lines of color. And so um, I'm, I'm, um, I'm using a big brush instead of the plastic, yeah. And I'm just adding some lines and some splatters. And <clears throat> I, I really uh, love how that looks. It's a, it's a messy, a messy um, rainbow. And I love the colors and yeah. And then I will bring in my scallops again and then I will go ahead and stitch them down with my sewing machine 
and um, I love how that looks. And here you can see I'm just going in with the plastic to smudge the color around just a tiny bit so it's more like a yeah a messy line you know and mixing the colors just a bit and yeah um, now everything is dry and I already have stitched down the scallop border so you can see how that looks and then I was like okay and I want to go with with rainbow elements too so I went back to the die cuts and the frame packs and um, I grabbed a few bits and pieces and um, I found just a few um, and so I had a look into the papers and there's that um, gorgeous butterfly paper and um, there are butterflies in exact the same colors like I have on my uh, paper, on my scallops. And so I just um, cut it out, a few of them. And I love um, the movement and um, the feel from the butterflies on the page. It's I can't I can't find the right words why but I really like it. Um, and I think now I will um, add some pop dots. Yeah, I really I really like um, the banners. I have the red one with the XO and the orange one had the word love on it, but I will um, add my title to that orange um, banner and my title will be um, Hello Sunshine. And I have added a lot of stitching to the little banners and I'm leaving the thread ending on the banners. So it's, um, I like how that looks. Um, yeah, I'm scrapping a picture from the puppy and me. And I, I really like that picture and so, yeah. And uh, now I'm just rearranging and arranging my butterflies and the, the, the banner and I love how that looks, really. <clears throat> and yeah, just adding one tiny um, pop dot or, or 3D square to one uh, to each of the butterflies so that I can curl up the edges from or the wings you know so it's looking not realistic but with more dimension and I yeah I like it um, now I'm just um, yeah I just cut it out the words hello and sunshine or I just uh, cut it off the black lines from the label and I like that and there's a little um, from a tiny um, journaling card the upper part is saying important and I thought I will I will add that or use that because of the color but there was no um, no need for important you know <laughs> And I added uh, some foam tape to my picture and now I, I ruffled up the scallops just a tiny bit and I think I will I'm looking to the um, stickers and I really like the one the little moment but it's not then I I, I don't want to add the white one I wanted to go with the color scheme and so I, need, I I should have colored or you know them and so no. These are the final touches element packs with the dots and the um yeah with the animal dots and the little uh yeah. And I'm just adding some um dots in the same or in the matching colors. And I love that. Yeah, I really love that. And I think the next thing is... Um, yeah, here yeah, I was thinking about another placement for my, for my title. But I really like um, the placement on the little banner. And now, I don't know. Oh yeah, I wanted to add um, a little 
border to the page and so I um, go ahead I just looked into the papers and I wanted to um, add a touch of pink or the coral peachy red color onto the upper corner or upper side and a dark blue onto the um, lower corner because of the last butterflies you know and so I wanted to stay in the in the color and I really like how that looks I will change that you can you can't see what I'm doing but I will I'm just adding a, ta a double side adhesive tape to my paper so that I can um, adhere the paper strips down. Yeah. And I'm sorry you can't see what I'm doing. There you go. And I love how that looks. And I'm just ruffling up the edges. Yeah, and uh, then I will go ahead and adhere the other strip down. And I think I am nearly done. I'm not pretty sure what I'm doing. Oh, I will. I will add some journaling. Yeah. Just two lines underneath the last scallop border. And next to that, I think I am. I am nearly done. Yeah. Now, yeah, grabbing the ruler and a pencil, adding two lines, and I'm just talking about uh, how happy and how lucky we are to have him in our life and that we really love him. And I'm writing with a um, adding, yeah. With a small tip, zero five, uh, zero dot five, or the, I don't know. I'm not pretty sure. <laughs> oh, and I just scribbled down some black hearts. Erasing the um, lines, adding two more stems or two stems. I don't have stems there. And then I am done. And I like how that looks. I love rainbows. And I love the puppy. And I love the colors. And yeah, you know. <laughs> you will get a close up. And that's it. And thanks so much for watching. And talk to you soon. Bye.